Hello friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So today's video, we are going to be making this really beautiful DIY Gillyweed potion bottle. I have had so much fun creating this and it's part of my DIY potion series. So that's right, this is a series. Leave comments down below of what you'd like to see next. But today I'm gonna be walking you guys through how you can make your very own Gillyweed potion bottle. These look absolutely fantastic on display display shelves or just in your bedroom. I think they're really sweet. You guys know how much I love potions. So I thought I would have a crack at making some myself. Now, before we get started, I will quickly mention that you might notice a little bit of a wibbly wobbly table. I need to get a new table. My current one that I'm filming on at the moment is a little bit unstable, but we're gonna go ahead and crack on with it anyway. If you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird magical online family. But for now, if you'd like to know how to make this beautiful gillyweed then keep on watching okay then so let's get started now the first thing that we're going to need is to choose what kind of potion bottle that we're going to use now I do have quite a selection of empty potion bottles I really like finding them I can find them in vintage stores which is where this is from this one I got from Hobbycraft but you can probably find them in any craft store if you want a nice cheap option you can actually purchase a pack of these potion bottles for nice and cheap. You get different sizes, they're very cute. They actually have cork lids, which is nice, which you can glue in. But today, I think I'm gonna go for this one because Gillyweed, you want really easy access to take it out and eat it, drink it, whatever you want so that you can get gills. So we're gonna go with this one. I'm gonna put this one to one side. So some fun things that I thought would be nice to put into this bottle are these little pebbles. Now I actually got these just from some random gravel that's in my back garden, but you can probably get pebbles like this from anywhere out and about, or you can go and get some from like aquarium stores and that kind of thing. But honestly, for the amount that you need, it's probably much easier to go and find some yourself. So these are gonna go in the bottom of this bottle. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is place these in the bottom because we want it to be like the gillyweed has been taken out of wherever it's come from and it's got some little bits and bobs to keep it good in there. I mean, gillyweed isn't real. They're meant to look like rat's tails and we're gonna get onto the bit here. So we're gonna be using this. Now this is called lichen, which is what we're gonna be using for the gillyweed. Now I got a big packet of this stuff and you can get it in loads of different colors. It looks like this. It's very squishy. I am fascinated with this stuff. It looks really authentic. I think it's really, really awesome. So this stuff in the packet that is actually used for multiple railways which I think is absolutely fascinating but I thought it'd be perfect for what we're doing today. I, I just love that I have a whole packet of lichen squishy stuff. It feels really real and kind of natural. So I have gone ahead and taken the bright lime green coloured lichen out and what's really good is this is actually a similar length to the potion bottle that we're going to be using today. Now obviously we're not going to be using real water because I do want these as a display piece so I I have got some clear glue. This one in particular is called Elmer's Clear Glue and it should dry nice and clear and it should be able to hold these kind of in place in the bottle, which is really exciting. Now, as this is clear, I did want to stain it a little bit. So I also have some green food coloring. Now this one is in shade moss green, but any green will do. We're not gonna be using a lot of it. It's just to make the potion or water look a little bit like it's been soaking this week in it for a while, almost like it's been pickled. So I'm going to go ahead and open the glue. Now I'm going to start filling this a little bit from the bottom so that we can kind of get as many air bubbles out of it as possible and we have something to stick bits into. So here we go. I'm probably going to fill it about halfway because that's when I think I want to put some of the colour in. So here is the food coloring that I'm going to be using. Now we don't want a lot because we don't really want the entire bottle to turn green. We just want a kind of hint of green coloring. So I'm going to try and be very careful with this and maybe put one to two drops maximum in there. I'm then going to take a cocktail stick. You can use anything that's kind of disposable just to kind of, oh god that's going to be too dark isn't it? <laughs> 
So it looks quite dark at the moment, but we are going to be including even more clear glue. So it should kind of balance out a little bit, but we're just trying to stir and mix it as much as possible. Now my cocktail stick wasn't long enough, so I'm going to go ahead and use these tweezers. We're going to be using these to put the lichen in anyway, and this is just to really get that mixed. That's a really good noise. Okay, so this is what we have so far, and I am going to go ahead and stir start to put this in and then I'm going to fill the rest of the glue up afterwards which should make this a little bit clearer for us as well. So I'm going to take my tweezers that we've just stirred that up with and gently push this into the bottle and then push it down into the glue. This looks so cool already. And then really get the base of that down to the bottom so that we have it all throughout the bottle and then we can manipulate this after it's filled with glue as well. Okay, this is looking really awesome actually. I think that's really, really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill the rest of the bottle with my clear glue and see what happens. So before I fill it right to the top, I'm then gonna go back in with my tweezers and just give it give it a little stir, make it feel good in there, make sure it's comfortable, and make sure that this is at the top so it's going throughout the entire bottle. It's a lot darker at the bottom, which I think looks really awesome. I might manipulate those pebbles to move a little bit. So once you're happy with how the potion looks, you can then fill it up to the top just before the neck of the bottle because we're then going to be gluing in the cork stopper. There we go. Now, because these potions are made for display purposes, I have gone ahead and purchased some glue. This is all purpose adhesive. It does dry transparent. I'm just gonna be putting it around the cork lid so that when we put it in there, it won't come off. Nothing will spill or anything. This should dry over time, but just to be safe, I am going to glue this in. So I've got the glue all around the edge and I'm just going to pop it on like so and let that dry. Now if you do get a little bit of excess glue, you can then go in with a cotton bud and just remove it like so. We want that nice and neat. We don't necessarily want it to look like it's been glued in, but of course you will know. That looks so cool. <laughs> So here we have our base of our potion. Now the fun bit is to decorate it. So, oh, I just love that. I love that we've got the pebbles in there and it looks like it's soaking. It looks so good. I really do feel that if I was to eat some of this, I would get gills now. Now, obviously gillyweed is meant to look like rat's tails, but I think I mentioned before that it doesn't exist. And this is the closest thing that I could find that I thought would look really good in a gillyweed bottle. So let's talk about the label a little bit. So this this here is the label that I designed for my Gillyweed potion. I did purchase the border from Etsy. I will leave the link down below, but I then just found a font that I thought would go nicely with it and wrote Gillyweed. And then underneath, I wrote a little bio of what Gillyweed does. So it says, native to the Mediterranean Sea. When eaten, Gillyweed will give you gills, allowing you to breathe underwater. Gillyweed will also give the consumer webbing between the fingers and toes which will allow you to swim underwater with ease. So there's the label and it fits perfectly on this bottle like so. So I basically use sticker paper. I printed this onto adhesive paper so you should be able to just peel off the backing and stick it straight onto the bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and just peel this off. Now if you're wondering why there is black edges on this, I took a sharpie and just went around the edge because when I cut it out there was a little bit of white and I didn't think it looked as authentic but now it does. So you can then take your bottle and apply your label wherever you want. You could have it at the top, at the bottom but I think I'm just going to go for in the middle. So let's put it on, make sure that there's no creases or air bubbles underneath and then just make sure that it is firmly stuck on. This is looking so good. I cannot wait to put this onto my potion shelf. Now you don't have to just stop there with the decoration. I found these outline stickers from Hobbycraft. I found some in gold but I also found a packet in silver. So I think I'm actually going to try the gold one. So these are like long strips of metallic sticker and I thought they would look 
really pretty around the base or the top of these bottles. I'm just going to try it. I might not like it. I've not made this before. Let's have a go. Now these are obviously going to be a little bit too long for our potion bottle, but I will trim them once I've started putting one on. So I've just got one here and I think I'm going to start. Mm, do I want it at the top or do I want it at the bottom? Maybe the top, because then it doesn't get in the way of the pebbles. Let's see how straight I can make this. In fact, I could probably just wrap it over itself if I'm careful. So this is what it looks like with one of the golden strips, but I thought it might look even more fabulous and magical if I put another strip underneath. I don't know why, I'm just feeling that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on another strip. That looks so cool. <laughs> okay, so I've got the two golden strips at the top. I just thought that gave a little bit more glam, glamorous vibe to this potion bottle. I really, really like that. But I also really like the kind of natural vibe. So I might even try and put a little bit of twine around the neck of the bottle. Now twine's really, really easy to get hold of. You can get it from garden stores, craft stores, or just Amazon if you're feeling really lazy like I was. So here is my twine. Mine is personally not on a roll it's kind of in this kind of twisty knot that's been folded all together so I'm gonna go ahead and take my pair of scissors and just cut randomly because finding the end is just gonna be a mission in itself isn't it so there we go I'm just gonna pull that out and cut a little bit off so here's the bottle and I have my twine and I just thought it would look really really sweet to have a little something extra around the neck of the bottle. Now I'm not sure whether to just bind this around or whether to do a little bow. I think a bow is not going to look very magical so I think I'm going to find a way of binding it somehow. I might even use super glue for this because it's nice and quick and easy. Now I am a silly muggle and I cannot find my super glue but I have found the next best thing which is nail glue which I use all of the the time it's pretty much the same ingredient so I'm gonna go ahead and put a dot around the neck and glue one of the twine ends before we start binding. So this stuff dries really, really quickly. So it's already dried already. And I'm just gonna slowly bind my way around the neck of the bottle until I am happy with it. So I want the end of the twine to actually sit at the back in case it looks a little bit rough and ready. I don't want that at the front. And I'm gonna go ahead and just glue the end in so that it's all nice and secure. And I'm also gonna make sure that I use a cocktail stick just so I don't glue my fingers to anything. So here we have it. I've binded the neck of the bottle with twine. Now there is some quite long hair frays from the twine. So I am just gonna give that a little bit of a haircut just because I personally feel so I don't want those there. You could leave it there if you wanted to, but personally I like things to be nice and neat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of a, a little trim. And there we have it. I personally am in love with this. You guys know how much I am obsessed with potions and this just thrills me a lot. I think it really does look authentic. I think that's the only word I can describe it. It looks real. It looks like that that is gillyweed in there. And I personally am very, very pleased with that. What do you guys think of this potion? And what potion would you like to see me make next? Because I do want to make this into a little DIY mini series of potions. I thought I'd start with gillyweed as I just really really like gillyweed as, as a thing in a bottle I think it looks really really cute and I've wanted to make one of these for a very long time these are really nice and fun and simple to make at home you could even make them with your family or just make them yourself to put on a Harry Potter or a potions shelf I will of course link as much as possible down below so that you know what to get for this DIY so that you can have a go at it yourself some of those will be affiliate links just to let you guys know but yeah that is it I would love to hear your suggestions for future potions and I guess I will see you in my next video.